In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your magazine and add some consistency to your pages. Now, the first thing we need to do is create some additional pages. For your magazine, you need to have eight pages in total. So we right click on the page one icon at the bottom and select insert page. Number of new pages, we want seven and we want them after the current page. So we click OK. Then what you should see down the bottom is we now have eight pages. Next thing we need to do is add a bit of consistency. So what we're going to do, similar to what you might do in a presentation when you use master slide, in Publisher we can use a function called master pages. So we go to format, apply master page, and you'll see this pane here will change. Now, to enter Master Pages view, we just click on View Master Pages, and now you'll see the background has turned to yellow, and our pages down the bottom here have disappeared. Okay? In Master View, this is where we add stuff that we want to appear on every single slide. So, if you wanted like a little icon or a border, for example, on every single slide, we do it in Master View. We then close Master View and you'll see it apply to all of your eight pages down here. So I'm just going to go back into Master Pages. Um, and my magazine is going to be about the environment. So I'm going to find a little icon that I can use. So I click on, I'm going to use Clip Art. You could use a picture from the web. You could actually put a, ba uh, a picture in from the web as your background for each page. And I think I'm going to search for, I think I will search for tree actually see what comes up okay right let's use this picture here so I'm just going to use this as a little icon to remind people just going to pop it down there just to remind people what the magazine is about um, you could also add text to the page by using a text box up here I'm just going to increase size of that text a little bit. Maybe change the font. Okay, when I'm happy with uh, the way my page looks, I can click close master view. And what you should see is that all of my pages now look consistent. So they've all got a little icon on, and they've got help save the environment at the top. Okay, next step is you need to start adding content. So you need to have a look at your page designs and see what you need to add onto the front cover and how you're going to lay it out. And then you also need to go into your inside pages and start adding content. Now, just before we finish, I'm going to show you how to do two um, fairly important things. The first one is to add text. To add text, we click on the text box tool on the left hand side, and then we draw the text box onto the page. Now, in a magazine, it's normally the text is normally arranged into columns, so it's quite easy for us to do that. We can just control C. Control V, and then we can use the arrow keys. If we click on it, we can use the arrow keys to move our text boxes into position and make our start to make our magazine look professional. Now, the actual text itself, you can copy and paste the text from the internet. You do not need to write it all out um, off the top of your head. Now, to add a picture, it's very similar. You click on the picture frame and select empty picture frame and you draw on where you want your picture to be, to, uh, be on your magazine and then if you double click you then get prompted with a box um, which allows you to search for a picture that you've downloaded so you will need to go onto the internet download some pictures and then you can add some in.
Okay, off you go.